Hello and welcome to episode 8 of the Ipswich career mode. We are still growing, we are still grinding in League 1 and trying to put ourselves on the top of the pedestal and beat all other opponents. We are in that grind, we are definitely succeeding at that grind right now. We have a massive league push this episode. I do think we have an FA Cup game in there and of course we have about 3 or 4 uh, league games so stay tuned to see if we can overcome those and actually smash our way to the top of the table and create that point difference from second and third place burton and plymouth are the ones chasing us we have to really make sure we're still slapping them up every opportunity we get we're going to hop straight into it we're going to see if we can continue pushing them further and further away from us and we can solidify ourselves as the team at the top of the table if you enjoy like comment subscribe links to the socials are down below if you want to get involved further but without any further ado episode eight of the Ipswich career mode this is the league push oxford we're going to play highlights we're going to see what we can do hopefully get a cheeky result and just keep this streak going as i've told you we're going to keep mixing up the sort of gameplay we do and uh, i'm liking this because it just changes the pace of things cool enough for Ipswich, 22 minutes. Come on. We're gonna go short and get Wesley Burns in here. He's gonna create this little separation. Finds Chaplin. Into Edwards. Finds Morsey. What is that, lad? What is that? Yeah. He didn't need to. Just run with the ball. This is their counter now. Let's defend this. Joseph. Oh, uh oh, uh oh! He's offside, surely. What a save! Oh my gosh, what a save! This is a solo run, but I do see that John Jules. I see that John Jules, Morsey. You've got to find it. Poor, poor. Why have you received it like that? No, no. That is shit. What the fuck was that? It done the pass automatically for me, which it shouldn't do. It said 3 2 1 and then kicks off. It shouldn't then do an action. God, how am I meant to know what's coming? Like, sort me out. Oh well, no, no. Fucking shit. But let's get into the, the next game, which is a Forest Green Rovers, where we're going to simulate this. A strong team once again. We want to keep the. Uh, keep this going, because the form has been incredible. And another result here will start to see us claw our way further and further away from the other opposition and basically slap up this league. Lovely play. Go on. Lovely. Fantari. He asked to start. I gave him his chance. He repays me in seven minutes. What a boy. Show your quality, boys. Show your quality. Well played, boys. Chapman scored. Seals what hopefully is an easy win. Mentari with the assist. Can we just add? That man has come in and done everything we would have asked for him. He's been so good. Gone offside. That gets it. That's a 2 0 win. Surely we are putting that. that that's on distance between the Plymouth. Note they have uh, beaten their opposition today as well. So the standing still at six points apiece. What is the situation with Wickham? Are they up there? They're in 30 points. We are on 49. Where does 30 points sit you right now? Just outside of playoffs, literally in goal difference. So they're there and they're about the challenging. They're wanting to be in that conversation. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see if we can bypass these. This will be a, a really exciting game, hopefully. And we can just show our quality and just make sure that we do what we need to. Pops it in. Here's Chaplin. Burns. Plays it across. Finds the Zappo. Gets a shot off its early doors. It's 1 0. Come on. Hey, is he on? He is. Wolf Fenden plays out. Can't keep it. Only as far as Hanlon. They've had fuck all, all game. And then just one drops out. And it's just game over for us. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. My vision is unbelievable. I don't know how that has gone in. I don't know how, but I do not care. 
That is ridiculous how that slid under the keeper. It kind of bounced behind him. I tried to just take a shot to see if we could get it uh, at, at the goal. But oh my god, that is ridiculous. Little ball in from Edwards. Bang. It just, just doesn't sit at the keeper. Oh! Goalkeeper. Sort your head out, lad. Sort your head out. Where are you going with that one? The gears. And here's Chaplin for Ladapo to finish it. This is why we keep Ladapo on. Patrick for Ladapo. He's been a ridiculous just goal getter all season. All season. I don't know how he does it. He just is always in the right place at the right time. And he just always knows how to finish. Freddy Ladapo opens the body, slides it underneath. That should seal it. And just the incredible support once again. I'm about to score with Noah Chilvers. And it's going to be for all of you guys that showed your support all day long. Thank you for being in the streams. Noah Chilvers is just doing it for everybody here. What a goal. Easy. Easy. But yeah, thank you so much for the support. Make sure to drop a follow if you're not already. Help a brother out. Down again. That's going to be the end of the game. 4-1 against Wickham Wanderers, baby. What a result. 4-1 of Wickham Wanderers. But that is huge for this title charge. Ladapo so does it again. When things were tight, when things were tough, he scraped through with a scrappy goal. Sort of scrappy, scruffy, whatever you want to call it. And then just does the work to get that extra one that puts us in a great spot. So, uh, what a player. And I think we sim this one. Now, nah, he's ready. We'll sim full strength. Hope for a result. This won't be the last game then. We'll sim this and then we'll play one more basically. And that's what we're going to go for. Freddie Ladapo does it again. This dude is disgusting. He's so good. We fucking love this guy. All that hype for nothing. We're 1 1 now. James Wilson. Of course. Of course he comes in and gets the result. Oh. Don Ball finds Chaplin. Back to Don Ball. Back again. Can't find the gap. The Dapo again. He's so good. He's so good. He scores hat tricks. He scores braces. He scores goals all the time. It's literally like in his DNA. That should be it. 2-1 in the cup. I can't believe it was only 2-1, but we've done it. That's all the matters. We're into the next round of the FA Cup, which is huge. But we've got a 5-1-2-2 or a 5-3-2 holding to break down here, which is tough, especially against a team like Bolton. But if anyone's got the team to do it, it's us. It's always us because of the ability we have. We can pass really quickly in between different players. We can move the ball, we can move the opponents, and basically it's just gorgeous to, you know, just switch everything up. And that's what creates these extra spaces for whether it's Chaplin, number, the number 10, or of course Ladapo coming in in the striker position. Harness just scrambling his way through. Look at how many white shirts surround this man. How does he do it? How does he come out of that with the ball? Here's Morsey into Don Ball. He tries a long ranger, Dominic Ball from range. We're wondering how do we get that chance? How do we get that breakthrough? And Dominic Ball has done it against the run of play with a beautiful strike. Foul. It's an okay challenge, finds Charles. Back to Bob Varson, who's gonna equalize with four minutes remaining. How is that not a foul? I don't know, but. How has that fallen to him? Edmondson, you've got a drop, lad. You just saw it coming. I knew that was coming. I couldn't do anything about it. Fuck! 1-0 up, and within five minutes, we lose the game. I can't play Bolton. They're literally my bogey team. They Every, like last year as well. I think they slapped me like 7 0. Their press is horrible. And I hate this new fucking 5 3 2 holding formation. Fuck that. So you can see from the standings right now, we are six points clear still. We are in control. Our goal difference is completely superior. So as long 
as we keep doing what we're doing and we don't fuck up too many games, we're still going to be in the right place to continue doing the work we are. Burton is now our closest rival, so we need to keep an eye on them and make sure they're not pushing us too far. And that is it. Not the best episode, let's say, for results. It wasn't the best, but we've put together a few different things. Obviously, we're trying out different mediums of games, some sims, some moments, some uh, highlights. That's the one I was talking about. And, you know, it's all fairly decent. So I'm really enjoying this right now. If you are, like, comment, subscribe, link to the socials down below if you want to get involved further. But we're going to leave this here. I hope you have a lovely rest of the day. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. And peace out.